Hello and welcome to the seventh OpenGL screencast that I'm going to be doing in the series. And today we're going to be talking a little bit about doing more 3D objects. We're going to be specifically doing cubes ourselves, as well as looking at perspective and orthogonal projections. So getting right into it. Um, here I brought back the uh, pi formats definition, as well as a definition here for cosine and sine um, given a degree. Um, working our way down, nothing really new here. We're going to have a toggle mode where we can switch between the two perspective and orthogonal different projections. We added a field of view for perspective, which I'll explain later. And then we added the aspect ratio for, um, which will be the width to height, which we used to keep in just the reshape function, which we kind of spit out. I have different cube vertices here. I've separated them in each to their own variable just for easy convention's sake. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, going on, I have this project, project method, <coughs> which depending on if it's perspective or orthogonal projection, it will be appropriate. Um, we will be using glue perspective and then geo ortho. Um, these, this entire method should be very familiar to you from a reshape function, with the exception of the uh, if statement here, where you were just using orth the orthogonal before, and now we'll be using perspective. As well, um, let me briefly show you so, um, from the red book which uh, the, these do. So, looking first here at uh, glue perspective, we have this, which is the field of uh, view angle. The width to height is the aspect ratio. This distance here is the near and then the far distance. So, looking back at our code here, we have our field of view which I define to be 55, our aspect ratio, which will be set um, in our reshape function, and then the dimensions divided by 4 is our, our close, our near, and then our 4 times dimensions are, are far. And versus orthogonal, which if we look at that here, is just an orthogonal box. So that's one major thing to think of if you don't really understand which is which and what, what, when you should use what is orthogonal is going to make everything be the exact same size regardless of how far it is to the user um, versus perspective is going to be more realistic looking so depending on the game you're going to be making or whatever you're making you may want one or the other you might want something that has everything the same size so that's just something to think about um, as we go on uh, draw axis is all the same here Draw values. The major thing we added here is we just have this print line that tells you what mode you're in. And then we're going to be labeling all these vertices uh, at their given points with uh, A through H. Draw shape, we're going to skip past briefly. Um, with the exception of this, this is the, depending on if you're an orthogonal or not, we used to just rotate around the, um, well, the axis. And but now for perspective mode, what we want to do in order to do that correctly is we are going to use glue look at, which is another library utility library function, where we give it the i position and x y z, the aim of the cancer lens, so we're aiming at the origin, and finally, which uh, what is the up vector? So this is a little uh, a simple math here to figure out the eye position so that when we're pressing our left and right arrow keys we're still going about the origin when we're in that perspective mode. Um, finally reshape is the exact same with the exception of the project we call the project method now at the bottom and window key we're going to be able to press M to switch between we want to use minus and plus to change the field of view and, and we want to, be able to change the dimensions uh, using D or capital D um, Nothing new there in the window special, or the window menu, or uh, the main, which is just we're able to toggle values and uh, you probably have to add um, toggle mode. So that's that. So let's give this a run really fast and see what's going on. Um, so we can make this and run it. So right now we have four or actually eight different points here A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. 
And if we go ahead and turn on and off the views, that's what it looks like. If we change to perspective, you can see that it makes the others seem a little farther. So if we bring it back down so they're all on top of each other here, and then we push M, you can see these first four are slightly bigger, and the last four are slightly f smaller area, and that's just the way perspective works. So let's start drawing our cube here and really getting some detail of, of what's going on. So the first side is, the first thing to think about is the first thing you want to know is we always want to draw our shapes counterclockwise. I think I've mentioned this before. Um, regardless of what engine you're using, you generally want to draw your vertices uh, counterclockwise. And that's because of a lot of the, the maths behind them expect that. So whether you're doing a direct 3D or you're using or DirectX, excuse me, or if you're using OpenGL or Cocoa SUD or whatever you're using, you're generally going to draw your vertices this way. So let's draw the front side from the connects A, B, C, D and make that. And as you can see, very simple. It's just the front side of the cube. And it's drawn A, A B, C, D. So it's drawn counterclockwise. So let's do the back, which is F, E, H, J. So already looking at this and we're like, well, why is it showing up odd with the red one always in front when I'm spinning around like this? It should be the the other one, right? Well, that's an awesome thing about OpenGL is, well, we have all these different things that we don't necessarily have on. So the first one here is the GL depth buffer bit. So when we clear we want to clear with the buffer bit. We want to enable the depth test. And finally, when we're getting our, uh, our window to begin with, we want to make sure that we have the display mode with the depth test as well. So what that'll do is set up that Z value, um, the far to near, and make it correct. <laughs> So let's go ahead and make that again and see, oh, okay. So now when we spin this around, you'll see the red one be in front and then the yellow one be in front and so on and so on. So very easy. Um, this will be the right-hand side. It'll be green. The left-hand side will be blue. The top and bottom will be their respective colors as well. And now we have a cube. And it spins correctly, it looks correct. And you can go ahead and play with the code and try different things. Um, next time we're going to be looking at some more objects in 3D. We still have spheres, cones, and cylinders that I would like to cover. And uh, that's it for this screencast. I hope you enjoyed.